Hello guys, welcome to SI Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another interview question which is asked in Virtusa. So get me the customer's gender count based on the transactions. So if the customer makes more than one transaction, then consider as a single count only. For example here, okay, for example here, if you see right, there are two tables, transaction table and customer's table. In customer's table, we have a multiple columns, customer ID, customer name, age, as well as gender. So here, if you observe, right, customer ID is ABCD. At the same time, customer name is Ravinda, Sarita, Aruna, Manju. Here you can see their gender as well. So here you can see Ravinda male and remaining three are females. At the same time, here you can see transactions one, two, three, four, five, and customer ID is AB, ABC. It's nothing but a here, you can consider customers is a main table where you have a customer details. So customer ID is a primary key here and in transaction table, it is a foreign key in the transaction table. Customer ID is a foreign key. So if you wanted to join it, these two tables using primary key, foreign key, which we have to join it. So the question is here, get me the customer's gender count. So as well as trans state and trans type and amount. So when they have a customer's gender count, okay? So majorly what they are focusing on based on the transactions, whoever made transactions, only those count, they wanted to count it. Who made transactions and their gender count. So here, if you understand, right, customer ID, A, B, A, B, C. So A, E, A, A. Okay, we consider, consider as single and B, B is considered as a single and C is we are considered as a three. Overall, okay, male count is, okay, male count is A, one. And female count is two here. You, you can see B, 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 C. So consider it. It is a male is one and female is two. Let's do that with the SQL. So how we can do that? Let's get into the SQL. And I have already prepared the data for the same. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to copy paste in the, in the, in the video description. Just you can go ahead and you can take that and you can practice for your things. Now you can see here. So customer table here, okay. So I have mentioned as different names here in customer name. And you can see here ABCD at the same time transactions also with different different transactions. Now you, if you observe, right? If you observe, okay, A, B, okay. A is three times, which is available. Okay, A is A, B, A, A. Three times it is available. And again, B is twice and C is once. So even though you have a multiple transactions with this, three transactions with the A, we need to consider as a single transaction, single count, single count, because A is considered as a single customer, single customer. So that is the reason we have to consider. So to do this particular thing, okay, first thing is, okay, we have to understand the relationship between these two tables. First is customer ID. Here is a primary key in customer's table and foreign key in transactions table. So what is the question? Question is whoever made transactions only we have to count them. Only we have to count them. So overall customers, even though we have a four customers are available, we need not to take four customers. Reason behind it, we have to consider it who made transactions only them we have to count it. So to do that, what is the thing which we have to understand? First is to first to solve this solution. First is we have to understand the joining condition. Okay, joining condition. So what is the joining condition here? So based on the customer ID, primary key, foreign key relationship, we have to join the table. So what we can take, what we can take from clause, we can take it up first. Okay, from, okay, which, which table? Customers table from customers. I can copy paste here. Okay, from customers A. Okay, let's take the inner join, inner join, transactions, transactions B. Okay. On on what basis we have to take a dot customer ID. Okay, a dot customer ID. Okay, let me take that a dot customer ID. Okay, here you can take this a dot customer ID equals to b dot customer ID b dot customer ID. Joining condition is full filled. Second thing, whenever you wanted to do this, right? So you wanted to get the count, you wanted to get the count, okay, based on the C, gender count, gender count, gender count based on the transactions. Okay, based, gender count based on the gen, be, customer gender count. Okay, customer 
gender count we wanted to get it customer gender count okay based on the transactions based on the transaction so first first is fulfilled we will be able to join the tables based on the primary key foreign key relationship second thing is you have to get the count here you are using the aggregate function nothing but a multi row function which you have to use it so when you are using multi row okay let's go ahead and select okay what you want what do you want so first is you wanted to get the gender count gender count so whenever you are going ahead and doing the gender count right first what you have to do you have to count is nothing but a count function we have to use so what is the thing which there is a condition right even though if the customer is having multiple transactions we have to consider as a single count single count to do that what we have to do we have to go ahead and we have to use the distinct distinct so distinct distinct b dot b dot customer customer id b dot customer id so you are going ahead and you are going to do like this so select clause also done whenever you are performing any aggregate function you have to use the group by clause group by clause group by clause group by what group by based on what you have to do based on the gender group by gender so now your solution is solved your solution is done now you can see male is one and female is two female is two here you can see that okay yeah, yeah. even though three times we have to consider as a one and where if you wanted to get the whether the male or female you have to go ahead and you have to join the these two tables okay that is the solution for this okay that's it for the day and tomorrow we are going to discuss about the ust global questions please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel thank you guys